I haven't been to Belfast since 1992, so I thought it's about time I get my ass back there and see what's going on. I stayed at a bed and breakfast right around the corner from this area called the Green Mount. Very cute, like 40 pounds a day or something. Everyone told me it's the worst part of Belfast, West Belfast. But since the trouble is over now between the Catholics and the Protestants, it's not that dangerous. I mean, everyone told me it was really dangerous, but I walked around alone all the time because the people I went to visit were really busy. So I had to entertain myself, as I do. And one day I met this guy who showed me where the Belfast wheel is, and that's me on the wheel. And I took a ride on the wheel. And this is a view from the wheel. They were going to call it the Belfast Eye, like the London Eye, but people from Belfast say I, I, I all the time. So it would have been like, are you going to the Belfast Eye, I? This is a view from it. It's so pretty downtown. And you know what? It rained almost every day, but then there was rainbows directly after it. I saw rainbows just about every day I was there. And there was double rainbows. If you look carefully, you can see that there's like two. That's Vivian, the woman who owns the bed and breakfast that I stayed at. She was so nice to me, like, helped me out with everything. And that's Michelle, my girlfriend, who is madly into Steve Vai. I haven't seen her for two years. Last time I saw her was at Steve Vai's show in Dublin. And she has a tattoo on her left wrist. I mean, her right wrist, and that's mine on the left. I just drew it on with a Sharpie just for fun. This is a view from on top of some big hill in Belfast. I don't know what it was called, but I guess a lot of tourists come up here and for the view. There's a tourist. <laughs> uh, yeah. I went into the graveyard and paid these guys 20 pounds to interview them, so try hard to listen to what they're saying, okay? Anyway, so why do everybody in Belfast hang out because there's nowhere else to go. You know what I mean? You can go to bars and all, but when you just want to carry out, you just sit in here, you know what I mean? But I mean, is, is it because the bars are like too expensive or nah, you're not old enough? It's when you're not old. Well, it started out when I wasn't old enough. I'm old enough now to go to bars, but I still like coming here because I grew up here, you know what I mean? And what about um, the plastic bags? Like yesterday I was jogging and I saw everyone like sniffing at. What is that? That's really? I have to give you a nice buzz, that is. I have to give you a nice buzz. I know, but what are they sniffing? What is that? Glue. 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 What kind of glue? Elmer's glue? Elmer's glue? Oh, I'm packed. Workman's glue. You no, know, like workman. a workman would use. I know, but... Glue. Construction. Bye, oh, glue. construction. But aren't you afraid? Oh, you look like my brother, Chet. <laughs> aren't you afraid of it? I mean, the people. I don't see you guys, but aren't they afraid of, like, it hurting their brain or something? That's just the next tip. We rule the graveyard. What? We rule. Really Matters still are you, go you rule? <laughs> I used to work in a graveyard. Um, in this one? No, in America, in New Hampshire. Like trimming the shit up? around the graves uh, with a weed whacker. Over here, the way we here? What? Do they stand in here and check over No, I, I, I don't. In, like I live in Germany and America. In Germany, they would never do it because it's kind of disrespectful. And the Americans, I guess. No, 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 What? All crazy bastards. Oh, 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 Every every country has their own rules and their own regulations. No. And there was also a lot of pit bulls running around off the line. A lot of You know those dogs, pit bulls? Pit bulls. That's dangerous. No, I was just wondering why, what's up with the graveyards. I noticed that a lot of people are, every day I've been jogging in that park, and I notice all the people in the graveyard. And I'm like, what is going on? Why the graveyard? I mean, when, when we were growing up, you know what I mean? We had nowhere to go for a drink, underage drink, and so we come in here and had a drink. I mean, I think the Beatles used to hang out in graveyards because that's where they got that idea for Eleanor Rigby, you know? Like, they were reading all the names of the gravestones, so uh, I, they must do it in England, too, you know? No, we just stand and have a drink. So what was going on today with the red and white shirts? Uh, I saw out my hotel room, everyone was wearing red and white sports shirts. Was there a game or something? Oh, it, it must have been a Gaelic match on. What? Was playing up in Is it soccer or what? No, Gaelic. 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 It's an Irish sport. Oh, so is, is it like rugby? Is it is it like rugby or something? It's like it's rugby. It's from like it only allowed like to do the tackles like that. You left. What's the name of the game again? I can't understand. Gaelic. 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 And then there's hurling. I thought Gaelic is like a an Irish an Irish sport. It's an Irish sport. Oh, but I thought it's a language. You speak Gaelic. Oh, is it Gaelic? Gaelic. And it's and it's a sport. It's like American football, no man. 
I hate American, American football. football. Too much padding. And much padding. Yeah, and they sh <laughs> and they shouldn't be able American to. American rules, give a Australian rules. <laughs> yeah. You play rugby match in Australia. No. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to hear you guys' accents. You know, they're really. You want you want to say anything to the Americans? You want to say anything to the Americans? <laughs> You just love your McDonald's it's anyway, don't you? It's just conscious. <laughs> Would you guys ever go to America? Love oh, I, I, I want, I, I want me going to America. Like my brother lived over there for we went to, so we don't. Well, do, do they? Hate, you guys hate Americans over here or what? No. Nah. Like what I get? But ever see their TV shows and all? They're they're a bit mad, like aren't they? Yeah. They're a bit crazy. Uh, oh, they are like. See them. They're mad like see at Jerry Springer and all, all people go on the ad door, Jesus yeah. Christ and they, that's madness that is. I know, I know. Okay, well I hope you could understand at least some of what they were saying. They were so sweet. They were really scared, they thought it was like, they thought I was a reporter or something, but in the end, I won them over and we all got along. Hope you like my little video.